Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? Today is the officially the first um, day of the Christmas cardigan uh, collab that I am doing with Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. Hi, Jen. Um, today we are starting the cardigan. Yay! I am so stoked about this, you guys. Um, I, I just can't even tell you. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Now, as I said before, you do not have to do a Christmas cardigan. You can do it in any color you want. And, <clears throat> um, and that's fine. Uh, and then I did the, and I don't even have it with me. The last video was for the squares with the Christmas tree. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Okay, so let's get into it. I am going to be using, I love this yarn print. And this is their new Christmas color. No, it's not. <laughs> this one is cobblestone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the actual cardigan that I'm going to be doing later is with the new uh, Joann's Christmas yarn. But I don't have it yet. So this is what I'm working on right, working with right now for this video so that um, you guys can get started on it. All right, so this is what I'm using. And I'm also going to be using, for video purposes, I'm going to be using the Heartland in the color, where's the color? King's Canyon. Okay, I, I wanted to use white, but unfortunately, because I have a white background, you would not have been able to see the stitches. So I'm going to use this. All right. Now, uh, I'm also going to be using a 6.5 millimeter hook. All right, you can use a bigger one or a little, a smaller one, uh, but I just I wanted to use this one for now. Okay, now I've already started the back panel just to get this thing going here, so I could show you. <clears throat> what it's going to look like. All right. Now, what you're going to want to do first, if you, if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you've already made those squares, perfect. Um, but you're going to want to do the back panel in two pieces plus the squares. If you're not doing the squares, then this will just continue on until it, it, uh, goes right across your back. All right, so this is the length, or this is the width I have right now. Okay, so this is gonna be the width, and then I'm gonna have my squares, and then I'm gonna do another panel just like this. All right, so what you wanna do, if you are not using those squares, you're going to measure from armpit to armpit. All right, uh, so that's gonna be your width. Then. <clears throat> excuse me then you want to measure from your neck all the way down your back to the length that you want your sweater all right because this pa the, these panels are going to be done lengthways not widthways lengthways okay so you need to know how long your sweater is going to be. Now mine is, <clears throat> excuse me, let's see if I can move some stuff around here. Mine is, <sighs> approximately 32 inches. All right, so that's my length. And you can worry about the width in a, in a little bit. I just want to get you started and then we'll figure all that out later. All right, so this is not done by how many stitches you are doing per se. It's <clears throat> done by 
um, measurements. All right. So figure out what your length is going to be. And then we'll come back and we'll get started. Okay. So now that you have figured out, excuse my drawing. <laughs> I can't draw worth crap. <clears throat> um, now that you've figured out what your length is going to be for your sweater, now you're going to try. Now you need to figure out how many chains you're going to need for that. All right, you're going to do the chains in odd numbers. Okay, so I did mine 122 chains. Okay, yours is going to be different, um, but I'm going to do 121. <clears throat> okay, so yours is going to probably be different. Mine is going to be, it's going to go past my bum. Okay, so you can do it up to your waist if you want. You don't have to do it long. All right, you can do it whatever length you want. Just make sure that it's an odd number. Okay? Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so you're gonna pick which color you want, whether you're doing a solid color or you're doing uh, a variegated. I'm going to start mine with this color. All right, this is a two row repeat. And once you get the hang of what you're doing, it's easy peasy and it's so much fun. You guys, I am going to show you a trick that I learned that is gonna blow your mind. Um, when you're doing your foundation chain, with your, you know, you do your chains and then you do your whatever stitch after that. Do you find that your chain starts to bow? And it's got this little curl in it. I'm going to fix that right now. I am so excited about this stitch and I'm hoping you will be too. Okay. So we're going to start with our slip stitch. I'm going to bring you in a little bit. All right. So you're going to start doing your chain. Okay. So you can, I'm doing 121 chains. So you're just going to do your chains like this. Okay. And when you're done, I will come back or you come back <laughs> and we'll finish the rest. All right, I have my 121 chains. Now we can begin with the exciting part. All right, you're gonna start the second chain from the hook, okay? You're going to do a single, a single crochet. All right, now, if you look at your single crochet, You've got two legs to it, okay? You're going to put your hook into this stitch right here, this leg, all right? Okay, yeah. So you don't want to do that first single crochet really tight. From here on, you don't want to do these really tight. You want them to be loose enough that you can get your hook into that stitch. All right. Then you're going to go into the next stitch and you're going to pull up your yarn. So now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. It's kind of like a half double crochet. All right. Now, here's your next stitch. 
got your two legs right there. You're going to put your hook into this one, this first leg, okay? Put your hook in there. Then you put your hook into the next stitch, pull up your yarn, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, you're going to continue this all the way down your chain. Go into your first leg right here, <clears throat> go into your next stitch. Pull up your yarn, You've got three legs, or three loops, I mean, <laughs> you're going to go through all three, <clears throat> okay? There's your leg, go into there, pull up, go through all three, okay? Now, this is what this is going to look like, okay? And I'm telling you guys, when you get to the end, your chain is going to be bone straight. All right? No more curving. I am so stoked about this. Because when you're making anything, whether it's a face cloth or a wearable, when that chain bows like that, it messes up your project. Right? Because this chain will be the chain where your collar will go and then your collar on both sides is like up a bit it's like it, it's crazy so I <clears throat> the only way I knew how to fix that was to go up a couple sizes on a, your hook for your foundation chain <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> and you don't have to do that anymore. That, that is so exciting to me. Okay. Sorry guys. My throat's still really bad. <coughs> I'm trying so hard not to cough. <laughs> Hold that thought. All right. So here we go. Find that first, first leg right there. Put your hook into it. Okay. Now see, like if you have that, chain if you have that stitch really tight you're not going to be able to get your hook into it okay go into the next stitch pull up your yarn yarn over pull through all three all right go into that stitch pull up your yarn go through all three all right so keep doing that all the way down to the end. And then I'll show you what to do next. All right. You are finished your chain stitch. I am finished all of my chain. Now, um, oh, I have to do the last stitch. Oop, where are you? There we go. I have to do the very last stitch. There we go. Okay, now you're going to chain one, turn your work. Okay, oh, sorry, you're going to chain two. <clears throat> turn your work. Okay, now we're going to be doing a uh, half double, cr no, crisscross half, half double crochet or double crochet half, cr uh, anyway. <laughs> okay, so. This chain right or this stitch right here is already worked basically because that's where your chain is. So you ignore that one. Okay, you're gonna skip over two, one, two. You're gonna yarn over, you're gonna put your hook into that stitch, pull it up, and do a half double crochet. Alright. <clears throat> then you're gonna yarn over, you're gonna go backwards. And go into that stitch that you skipped put your hook in there pull up your yarn and finish your half double crochet okay there's your first crisscross stitch okay 
You're going to skip two, do the same thing. Yarn over, put your hook into your stitch, pull it up, yarn over, pull through all three, yarn over, go backwards into that stitch that you skipped over, pull up, finish your stitch. All right, <clears throat> excuse me, that's it. That's what this row is. All right, skip two, yarn over, put your hook in that second stitch, pull up, yarn over, pull through all three, yarn over, go backwards into the stitch that you skipped, put your hook in, pull up, yarn over, pull through all three. All right, that's easy enough. <laughs> Again, loosen up your grip. Don't do these really tight. All right. So I want you to take a deep breath, drop your shoulders, and relax your hands. Okay, here we go. Skip two. Put your hook in. Pull up your yarn. Pull through all three. Yarn over backwards into that stitch that you skipped, put your hook in, pull up your yarn, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, do that all the way to the end and I'll be back to help you with the last stitch. Okay, my chain is done, or my, <clears throat> my row is done. Now take notice at how straight this is okay you have a little bit of a bump just because it's your first couple of rows once you get going it's going to straighten itself right out when you put that next um half double crochet row on here it just goes whoop and it, it just straightens right out all right okay so when you'll notice that when you do your last um, stitch here you're gonna have one more stitch left so you're just gonna do a half double crochet in there okay okay now we're going to be changing colors that's your first chain uh, first um, two row repeat okay so now we get our uh, secondary color oops I don't know what I've done here to my skein, but <laughs> all right, here we go. Okay, so you're just gonna, oh gosh, I keep losing you guys. Okay, just gonna put your yarn in there, and then I usually just tie it a couple of um, knots at the end optional but that's what I do just to secure it okay all right now we're going to chain one turn your work get your other yarn oops this yarn get it out of the way pick up your new yarn all right, and then here we go. In that first chain that your, or the first stitch that your chain is in, you're gonna go into there and you're gonna do a single crochet, okay? Now it might be a little harder for you to see this because it's a dark yarn, but I don't know if I can bring you in. You've already done this row, okay? So you already know what, what you're gonna do. Okay, hopefully you can see this. There's your V, okay, your two legs of that stitch. You're gonna go into this stitch, or this, this leg. Remember, don't do this tight. Just relax, loosey-goosey, okay? Go into that stitch right there go into the next stitch, 
pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay. Go into that leg right there. Go into your next stitch, pull up your yarn, pull through, and finish off that stitch. Find that leg, go in there, go into your next stitch, pull up your yarn, yarn over, pull through all three. All right, easy peasy. You know, you've done this already. You know what to do. Just breathe and relax. Have fun with this. Don't let this be stressful, okay? Go into that side stitch right there. Go into the next stitch. Pull up, yarn over, pull through all three. All right, there you go. You got this. You've got this. Okay. All right, okay. Now keep going, go all the way to the end, and I'll meet you when you get back. Now we're at the end of the row. Okay, what I want to stress right now is you want to count, let me bring you out a little bit, oops, wrong way. You want to make sure that you count each row, like count how many clusters you have um, in that first row. Okay, and you make sure that that row and the number of stitches that you have in the next row are consistent throughout. All right, so for my crisscross row, for me, <coughs> excuse me, I have 59 crisscross stitches. All right, in this row that we just did, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I have uh, 119 half double crochets. All right. Make sure that that's consistent all the way throughout. All right. So as it stands right now, I've got 118. Okay. So I want to make sure that I have 119. So what I'm doing, whoops, is Okay, you go into that, that stitch right there, okay? Then you go into the chain space if you need to. All right, come on, chain space, pull it up, yarn over, pull through all three. All right, so there you go. You should, it should work out. Um, but just make sure that you're, you've got the same amount of stitches in each row all the way up. Otherwise your, your ends are going to be cur curving the, you know, and you don't want that. Your stitch count will end up being all wrong. Okay. So for me, I've got 59 crisscross stitches and then I do the half double crochet at the end. And on this half double crochet row. I've got 119 and I, I went into the chain stitch to get my 119th. All right. Okay. Now we're going to chain up two, turn your work. And now we're going to start your crisscross row again. All right, two row repeat. That's it, guys. You got this. Okay. Yarn over. Go into the, if you remember, skip. Oh, sorry. Remember to skip this stitch. This is already used. This is where your chain is. So you go into the next one and then the next one. You're going to skip over one. So one, two, go into that second stitch. and yarn over and go through all three. 
yarn over, go behind that stitch into the stitch that you skipped, yarn over, pull up, go through. It's your first crisscross stitch. Skip two, go into that second, second stitch, yarn over, pull through, go in behind, go into that stitch that you missed, yarn over, pull through. Okay, and keep on going all the way down. All right, now that's it for the, the pattern. All right, okay, now you keep, oh, um, I'm going to do this row and then I'm going to show you, I forgot to show you how to switch yarns again. So let me finish this row and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, we're at the end of our row. We have one stitch, whoops, where are we? We have one stitch left. That's where we do our half double crochet. So you yarn over, put your hook in, pull up the loop. Now drop that yarn, okay? Grab your other yarn, yarn over and pull it through. Okay, then do a chain one and you've changed your yarn. You've changed, now you're doing your light color or whatever color you're doing, <clears throat> and you're starting your next set of rows, okay? So that's all you have to do to switch your colors back and forth. Just remember when you're doing your two, when you've done your two rows, every time you come back and you've got the two on the end, two yarns on the end, that's when you know that you've got to flip the script and you've got to change your yarn, all right? Okay, now all you get, oops, wrong way, oh, for God's sakes. Okay, now all you're gonna do is continue on, keep going until you get your, look at how straight that is, you guys. I'm, I love it. Um, so now you're going to just keep going until you get it to the width that you need it. Now, if you're not doing the squares, then just keep going until you get from armpit to armpit. All right, because don't forget, this is going this way. Okay, this is the first arm, excuse me, your first armpit, you're gonna go all the way till you reach your next armpit. All right, whatever your um, measurement was. Okay. And then you will have your panel. All right. Now, if you are doing the squares, all you're going to do is uh, actually, I will, once I get my other panel done, I will show you in the next video what to do. But if you, um, if you're just doing the one panel, just keep going until you until you get to the other armpit, okay? So the next video is going to be about how to attach the squares to your two panels, all right? But if you're just doing the one panel, you don't even have to watch that one unless you want to. I would love it if you did, because if you make another sweater and you decide that you want to put squares in, you can, okay? All right, so thanks for joining me, and I will see you in... I guess it would be part three of this series. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you're having a great time doing this. If you have any questions, contact me, crochetacanada at gmail.com. Okay, thanks. Bye.